okay guys welcome back to the third video on the python series on my channel in the last video we talked about printing a text to the screen and we talked about variables so in this video we are going to dive straight into getting users input so studio let's just come to our code let's clear all this now first of all getting users input what does that mean it means collecting a specific data from a user and then implementing it wherever you want to do so so let's say you want to collect the name of the user then you can get the name of the user and then store it in a variable so let's say the name is name and then to collect get users input we will use the input function to do that just type input and then this you have used the input function then just put apostrophe in there and type the text you want to show to the user now i can just say enter your name now once we print this if you tell the user to enter their name let's print i mean once we run this sorry now it told me to enter my name once i type in told me it has saved it in this name variable but obviously we didn't tell it to print anything we didn't tell it to do anything now when we want to print a variable as i said in the last in the last video we don't put we don't put apostrophe so let's just print this name directly so now if you ask me my name i'll say tony then if you just print it to the screen this is very useful for when you are maybe you are building a large project like a website or an app you want to collect data from the user and then store it in your database like you want to collect the name the email the login and other stuff so that the user can be able to log in that is what big tech company uses collecting data user and storing its data then implementing it later oh, that's right okay so i also want to teach another thing today i want to show you how you can print a direct text with a variable now to do that let's say we just want to print hi guys obviously this is just print hi guys but if you want to print hi guys my name is tommy but we don't just want to say that tommy directly we want to get it from a variable let's do this let's just say n equals to tommy so now say hi guys my name is now we want to say my name is this n variable obviously what is this n variable it is tommy so when we say hi guys my name is n it should show us to me but remember that if we just put it inside here it will print out hi guys my name is n because it doesn't see it as a variable it sees it as a normal text but for you to see it as a variable we are going to do this after that we will put plus then the name of the variable when we do this it should give us a it should print my name is Tommy okay it tells us to enter name but I know it in this it says hi guys my name is Tommy exactly what we told you to do now if we want to make it more fun we can first tell the user to input his name and then input his age then we now say your name is this and you are so 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 years old let's do that let's code from scratch name equals to input this you can see enter your name and then we can also specify another variable and say input enter your age sorry for that now we can just make it fun and do print your name is then we just add whatever the the user roots just name see it sees it as variable then plus we we'll use this plus to get to continue writing the text first let's put a space here so it will look like a very good sentence and then 
we put under a pressure view to continue our statement. Then we can put full stop. Then we can say and you are the age then we can say yes old now when we print this you see what it will print out now it asks me for my name I'll say tell me starting for my age I'll say 901 now it says your name is Tommy and you are now 101 years old. You see how beautiful that is. So that was, I'll ju I just use that to show you guys how to get user input and then store it in a variable and implement it as usual. And that will be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button and please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I release new videos. And if you have any question, please don't forget to drop in the comments. I'll reply every comment. Thank you for watching. Bye.